ويريكم آياته فأي آيات الله تنكرون Look at the people around you and for a moment think about their characteristics. In fact, the color of their eyes, hair, skin, height, facial features, skeletal shape and countless details in their internal organs, brain, nerves and muscles are all recorded in the DNA. DNA is like an information recording system or a database in your body. This database saves information about the cell in which it is placed and about all the other cells in your body. The first cell which forms when the sperm and the egg are joined also forms the first copy of DNA molecule which will carry the code in every cell of person's body right up until death. DNA is a molecule of considerable size. If you remember that the average size of a cell is smaller than a hundredth of a millimeter then you would know that we are talking about something far more or smaller than that. The DNA is carefully protected within the nucleus of a cell. And this molecule is the information bank of human body as it contains the genes. The first cell then divides and multiplies in the light of the program recorded in the DNA. So the tissues and organs begin to form. This is the beginning of a human being. The coordination of this complex structuring is brought by the DNA molecule. <laughs> من نطفة خلقه فقدره ثم السبيل يسره The word قدره translated as proportioned in the mentioning verse comes from the Arabic verb قدره It translates as arranging, setting out, planning, programming or the writing of everything in destiny by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bearing in mind that the structure of DNA was unraveled by Francis Crick in 1953, it is truly amazing that the Quran pointed to the concept of genetic planning in an age when the mankind's knowledge was very limited. This remarkable fact again proves that the Quran is the word of Almighty Creator. The amount of information contained in a DNA is amazing. If we compare a human body to a building, in fact all the predetermined information of this building can be found in the DNA, even if this information is as tiny as an atom. In addition to all the physical characteristics, thousands of different processes taking place in the cell and the body, and indeed the control of the whole system are recorded in the DNA. The scientists have provided different theories to describe the amount of information contained in a DNA. To know the amount of the recorded information in the DNA, suppose that we write all those information in books and pile them up. The height of it would reach to some 70 meters. Or if a person would type about 8 hours per day with a speed of 60 words per minute, it would take 50 years for him to type all those information. Well then who did create the heavens and the earth? Why do you use the word who? You see, you, you, you immediately beg the question by using the word who. Well, then how did it get created? Well, um, by a very slow process. Well, how did it start? Nobody knows how, how it started. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. And what was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right, and how did that happen? I've told you, we don't know. So you have no idea how it started? No, no. No, no, no has any no has anyone else. What do you think is the possibility that uh, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in well, evolution? It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer.
you might find evidence for that if you look at the um, at the detail details of biochemistry and molecular biology you might find a signature of some sort of designer um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. The marvelous design of the DNA is a further evidence of creation within our very own bodies, for which the evolutionists and the materialists have no answer. 